Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be doing a funky bow for you right now. Uh, and this funky bow is going to be hanging on a little ladder that stands to the left of my hearth. And today's video will be about the hearth. I'm not doing a ton to it, but I am doing this and that. So I wanted to bring you along so that you could decorate with me. I'm gonna be so. making a 12 loop funky bow. I was going to make an eight loop, but I decided to add this orange to it too. And we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna like the three of these together, but we'll see. So I decided to go ahead and make a 12 since two are narrow and it won't be an, you know, a big and in your face bow because two of the ribbons are narrow. So, uh, I have the ribbons cut at 23 inches long, which may seem odd to you, but I only had that much left of this ribbon, so I had to use a little bit of math, and I had to figure out that I could only have four strips at 23 inches long, so I just made the other two ribbons match that length. So, let's get started. I do have a pattern of ribbons this time, so I'm going to start by folding the first piece of ribbon in half. Like I said, I have 12 pieces of ribbon, hence a 12 loop funky bow, one piece of ribbon per loop in the bow. I'm gonna to go to about five and a half inches on my measuring device and pinch it together right at that point. And then I'm gonna to go to the back tail and I'm gonna twist it. Pick up the second piece of ribbon in the pattern, fold it in half, go to five and a half inches, pinch it together right beside, and I'm gonna add it right beside with the loop pointing in the same direction as the first strip in the ribbon, in the bow. And then we're gonna to go to the third. Go to five and a half inches and pinch. And there are the first three loops in our 12 loop funky bow. Okay, now this time all with all the loops pointing up from center, my thumb being the center of the bow. I'm gonna start the pattern over again. Fold this piece of ribbon in half, go to five and a half inches and turn that loop down, pointing down from center that back loop and back tail and twist. With the next one in the pattern of ribbon, five and a half inches, turn it down from center and accordion it in there. See that side by side by side. And I am allowing this ribbon to start to scooch back in the crook of my fingers one, fold it in half, and it down from center. Accordion it in there, go to that back tail and twist. There's our first six ribbons in our funky bow, and I'm going to go through the pattern two more times, switching the direction of the loop each time I go. Each time folding it in half, going to five and a half inches and pinching it, accordion it in there, 
great side by side by side. Twisting that back tail. From center and twist one more time through the pattern and we're going to point the loop down from center five and a half inches and point it down from center the pipe cleaner and lay it across and lift your thumb pull it bottom around the bottom and the top around the top use this hand as resistance and pull against it get your other fingers up as close as you can and pinch that boat those ribbons together and twist 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 and I think this is gonna be pretty I might go ahead and add in some tails to this too, but I think this is gonna be a pretty funky bow. So of course, you know, as I always say, you know, the fluffing is the most important part of any bow. Be sure to get your hand in every single loop and pull it to where you want it to be in the bow. Do whatever you want with the tails. If you want to cut some of the tails down, certainly that works. Pretty, pretty, pretty funky bow. Okay, that'll do that. And I may put a couple of these tails on it. I don't have any more of this or of the blue. I might take the blue. Nope, I want the blue. And I'm just gonna pull out a length of it. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut it. Ooh. Because Chris is not in here. And I just want to find the middle, pinch it together in the middle, and then I literally just add it right in to the pipe cleaner, right side down. Let me get over there. Okay, so that is it. Beautiful, funky bow. All right, let me go pick up a couple of things and we'll go here in just a second in preparation to put it on the hearth. All right, be right back. Okie dokie, here I am across the island on the other side. <laughs> and I wanted to show you what, remember the other day in my car chit chat, I was on my way to Home Goods, right? And I was trying to find something. Hang on, let me put you down. I was trying to find something that I could put under this pumpkin because this is going to sit on my hearth and I just didn't want this to sit on the hearth by itself. I know I could have very easily just set this down on there by itself, but I wanted it to be a little fancier for lack of a better word. So 
I went to Home Goods and I didn't know what I was looking for, y'all. I really didn't. I knew I wanted something navy blue or blue in the cobalt blue, navy blue hue. And this is what I found. It just popped up and said, hello, Arlen, buy me. <laughs> and I said, I will. This was $12.99, you guys. $12 I had to um, take the sticker off, but I promise you it was $12.99. And it's alabaster glass. Not that I know what that is or that that's anything special, but that's what it is, alabaster glass. So that's what I decided to use kind of as a base for this little arrangement with this pumpkin. I had put the pumpkin down into the bowl and it sunk down too far. You couldn't see the front of it any longer. So I said, well, that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be able to see this ribbon. I do wanna keep the ribbon on this though. So let me tie this bow a little better. Hang on here. This ribbon came with this little cake stand. So I just wanna set this cake stand down in here. I'm not gonna worry about putting any glue dots on it or anything because it's going to be, trust me, it's not gonna move. Now, this pumpkin, I may want a glue dot on this because that might get a little slippery. So let me get some glue dots and I will just put it around the outside of this. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do to it. Somebody gave me this hint, Del. Somebody, Arlen, just the glue dot down on whatever you want it to be on and instead of taking it off with your fingers well that works like a charm <laughs> yay you are so smart I'll tell you I have learned so much from you guys Set this down in this bowl, right like that. And I'm just going to wrap this right around this bowl. This garland matches what's on the mantle. And this has got brown corded lights wrapped around it. Bring it on around the front like that. I was gonna figure out how to get the double layer in front of that pumpkin, which was the last thing I did. So there we go. <laughs> now you can still see the blue of the pumpkin and you can see when it's, it's gonna sit down on the uh, hearth and I guarantee you're gonna be able to tell that that is a blue bowl. Okay, so of course I wanna add a bit of an element of the burnt orange and the cream that I have going on. So I have three of my little picks that I purchased the other day and you're not gonna be able to see this from behind so I'm only gonna be decorating kind of like on the sides and in the front. And I have more of these if I need to add more. And then I just want to add just a few of these. I had not tried this out before, obviously, since I struggled with the them sticking out like crazy rather than be nestled down in there a little bit and that my friends oh my 
goodness, that's pretty. And then when it's lit up, I think that's going to be super pretty. Look at that. Different. Talk about unique. <laughs> that is unique. All right, now next, I'm just going to make a tiered bow. We're going to do a funky bow and a tiered bow tutorial in this one because I want to make a tiered bow to replace the tiered bow that I have on that little white lantern. And I decided I'm going to leave the white lantern out there. I'm not going to replace that. I'm going to leave it, but I'm just going to make one of these tiered bows. And I'm just going to, I don't know how far I'll get. I don't know how much of this I have. I do have another roll of this, but I have something else in mind. So I'll just use what I have left, and that's how big the bow will be. Okay, so we take it and put it in our non-dominant hand, and I want to make a little tear at the top of this bow, really little loops. I want them to be very little, like that. And you just, so you just hold it in your palm, make your loop as big as you want it. making sure that you're going to have plenty to overlap with and bring it up from the other way, attached to the rest of the ribbon, and fold it over that, over loop, overlapping, and then you pinch it together. Then you're going to want to twist this, and we're going to make the little center loop. So you twist it around your forefinger. I do. That's how I do it, right around my forefinger and then accordion it, catch it underneath. And there we have the first two loops of our tiered bow. And we need to twist to bring the right side up. And we're gonna make our next row only about a half an inch longer than the loop before it. And then you can see your ribbon's fed the way you need it to be fed. And then you want to make the loop on this side. Just no more than about a half an inch larger. Catch it, pinch it underneath. And then twist. And then make your next tier. Again, no longer than a half of an inch than the loop before it. And twist and That gives us three loops. Let's try for four, huh? Ooh, might be pushing my luck here, but I'll try it. Twist. And then pinch. And then I'm gonna make the rest of it into three little tails. One, two, three. Look at that. Just enough to make a four loop tiered bow. Four loops, meaning and as a the funky bow, you count every loop when you name the bow, when I name the bow. With a tiered bow, I've always just said four loops because I have four loops on either side of center. Okay, so take a pipe cleaner, feed it through that loop and kind of grab it, lift your thumb if you can, grab it, pull it around to the bottom, bottom around the bottom, and the top around the top. Put your hand as resistance and twist, just like you do that other bow. And I will, then of course you fluff, and cut, one loop and I will cut the tails decide how I want the tails cut when I get it out there but that'll hang right on that lantern on the same greenery that I had on there before all right okay so let's head out to the hearth and 
There's one more thing I wanted to do. Hang on, hang on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the little wreath that hangs on the wreath hanger that I got from Walmart. I need to have Chris carry that over for me. I can't carry that. So, I just wanna wrap, I have another one of these. Boy, I bought Michaels out of these this year. This is one thing that I have purchased this year are these blue garlands, because I just love them. And I just want to simply, I'm probably not going to use the whole thing, but I want to just wrap this around this little greenery. get Chris and he'll need to cut that for me. Hang on. <laughs> Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Han. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think that'll be pretty hanging right out on that wreath holder. All right, now we're gonna head out to the hearth and I'm gonna put everything together. Would you carry that out there for me? Yes, he's shaking his head. All right, here we are over at my hearth. As you can see, I, I hung up the little wreath there and I need to take that bow off of that lantern and replace it with the tiered bow I just made. And I just put the funky bow on, looking for my scissors. I could have sworn I brought a pair out here. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about the light. Oh my goodness. Woo, it's coming in on the in the window here. But I hung the funky bow right here on this ladder. I also have this little this little scarecrow guy sitting over here. And I haven't done anything to uh, this little flower arrangement. If you can see that, I don't know that you can see that in the picture. Uh, but this little arrangement I did there for now summer. that's this is how it's going to stay i like that little that little plaque there is fine for fall and then here is this funky bow on this ladder and i'm just fixing to cut up the the tails on it i don't want them to be that long but i want them to mimic the bow that is above it so all i want to do is I'm kind of, and she is going to sit right here. This little lady, I'm going to keep these little ladies out because they kind of pair nicely with my fall. And I know y'all probably think, saying, oh, she's spring or summer. Well, no, she isn't. Now she's going to be fall because that's what I'm going to, I love her. I have two of them and they are going to sit out in this decor and I love it. So she's going to sit right in front of this. So I want it to be above her head, the longest one. I want it to be above her head. So let's do that and then just go a little shorter oh. all righty and that'll do that and then we're gonna snug her up right in front of the ladder right like that and beside this flower arrangement here and I think she's gonna be pretty yeah her flowers are purple but if from a distance they look blue and I want her to sit right there like that. I think that looks pretty. And then I have the little scarecrow over there. He's pulling in the oranges and the and more of the blue. I may put, you know, a little tuff of flowers in here that she could hold. I think Lisa had said that she was thinking about doing that with hers, and that might be cute just like that. I also have a little piece of blue here that fell out of that, that little... little uh, wreath oh, that's cute there's a little something something in there 
she's carrying something for fall. That's pretty. And I've got just enough to do the same thing over here in the other little one. So I'll move those over there. All right, let's move this away and I'll show you how this is going to sit here on my heart. There you can see this. Of course, I will get back and give you a better view of everything, but this is going to sit right like that. Let me back up here even more and turn you. And then you can see I have my stars kind of placed behind it, behind them, and that's probably where they'll stay. I may put one up here. Just kind of snug there in the corner. And then as you can see, I have this other little pumpkin, this little sister or brother here, sitting back here on just a, a white little stand. Got that from Hobby Lobby. I just, and I'm not going to put any kind of glue dots or anything on that. It'll sit there, nobody ever comes up here. And that is gonna sit like that. And then I have one of these kind of plastic navy blue, uh, pumpkins from Hobby Lobby that I got last week and I'm just going to tilt that up right like that and that my friends will be that boy whoo that was hard huh but I'm telling you guys I told you I'm down playing it a little bit this year softer a little subtler and not so much of a pop of fall but a touch just a touch I love it I absolutely love it. All right, so that's this side. And honest to goodness, I'm not going to do much to this side over here at all. But let me turn you this way. There's the other little girl sitting here. Can you see the wreath? It's not in the picture. I'm going to leave this gather here with grateful hearts. I put that there with the intention of leaving it there for fall. And I have this little... Uh, arrangement this was I had done that for my summer decor and then I have another one of these little navy blue pumpkins and I'm telling you this I just cleaned this off this uh, garland cries what can I say it's over then to get the vacuum out here so pardon that so anyway, I have two more of these actually I have more in the garage but this is all I brought out here and I thought I would just add these just pull off I thought I would add just a touch of this in here just to bring the burnt orange in. Again, I'm not recreating the wheel. I'm just helping it along a little bit. is going to sit right there. These go in this little doll baby over here. So let me move over some more. And all I did, you could see what I did. I just wanted to see if I could kind of pull a couple of these up. That is going to hang over the edge. Again, it's the little details. I drive myself I crazy with the details, but I think they're important. All right, there we go with that. And I think I like that. I'll have to get back and look at that. And then this is just gonna sit right like that. And then these just pull off. Okay, well, maybe. And I'll sit down in her little basket. And I've got some more of this blue because the it falls apart if you just look at it. So why not just utilize what falls off of it? Put those in like that. And that'll be it. Just carrying another basket. I'm gonna meet that other one on a path and they're gonna take it to somebody and, and give it to them and make them feel better or something. Who knows? <laughs> make up a little story. Then here's this bow, this little tiered bow, and I'm going to replace it, this bow, with that. And this kind of looks just flouncy and messy, and that's okay. 
I might turn that a little bit. Okay, now let me switch this bow out and then that'll be it and cut these bow tails up. I can't pull this down because Chris has got that candle rigged up in there. to cut these all at an angle too because that's the way I did it everywhere else over here and I just want one just a smidge shorter than the other this one's going to be just a little I'll get back and look at this and tweak if I need to anywhere. Right now it looks pretty good to me, but I'm sure there's something that needs to be fixed somewhere. But anyway, that's about it, y'all. So what I'll do is turn around here for some final words, and then I will. I'm going to just leave this family here, by the way. I'm just going to leave that in there. I think that's cute. Unless I have a, a different harvest or something like that. But I don't think I do. So I'm just going to leave the family there. I like that. It's nice and subtle. I'm going to leave the, the candlestick back there with the blue candle. I'm going to go ahead and blue, use my blue. I love it. I think it's super pretty. <laughs> it's coming together, you guys. It's coming together. Boy, I tell you, I had to really think on this. I really, really, really do. Every every little vignette, I'm like, been okay. What am I gonna do here? <laughs> it's it's an easier decor to bring to fruition, but it's a difficult decor for me to think about because it's all new to me, you know. It's all new. So, <laughs> but anyway, I'm loving. Let me put this out here. Okie dokie, you guys. Here's a pretty good look at everything for you. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And then the way it looks with the mantle, I'll get back and take the whole thing at the end here. But oh, I think it's coming together. Oh my goodness. I was nervous about this, you guys. I really was. I was so nervous about this, bringing this to fruition. I mean, I'm, I've got you know, confidence in my decorating skills and all that and, I, and, I, and all that. But still, when you try something brand new like this, and I'm challenging myself. I love the challenge. But so anyway, I'm really happy to see that it's coming together and I'm I'm happy with how it's looking. <laughs> so with all that said, let me go into some final words here and then I'll take a final video and I will and then I'll step back from everything. So and then I'll I'll put in some pictures too of it in the evening hours. So anyway, I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that uh for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>